So, due to a simple administrative error from a shop that I purchased from from time to time, I have ended up with a second Stanley Marvel Legends figure. Why is this important? Well, the first one is up that way. It's reflecting there. His box is woo, reflective on the shelf. He's up there protected by the uh, Deadpool 2 figures. But that's where he is, and he looks beautiful in box, and I appreciate him like crazy, and he's staying in box. When I inquired about whether or not this one should be sent back, they politely apologised for the inconvenience, confirmed that my account was not charged, and said, now nah, you're alright, you can have it. Mostly because it's on sale for like 18 quid at the minute, so I guess they didn't care. Uh, add to that the fact that the box is a little bit scuffed, and I was just like, do you know what? He's coming out. So... By the grace of Zod. Marvel Legends Stanley action figure. Uh, massive. I love the packaging for this guy. Massive Excelsior written on the side. Uh, posted there for the Avengers, the 2012 movie. Why? Because the caption says, inspired by Stan Lee's cameo as a skeptical chess player in Marvel's The Avengers. This is based on him in the superheroes in New York. Give me a break. Stan Lee. Great picture of the likeness of the figure there. Seems to be a recurring thing with these individual sets. If they don't just have a graphic on them, like a stylized version of the character, they have a photo of the action figure. Uh, Stan Lee's uh, incredible uh, uh, eternal catchphrase, Excelsior on the side with a mock-up of his signature. Um, also, this figure is in association with obviously Hasbro who make them but also, Power Entertainment, purveyors of wonder, Stan's most recent venture before his passing, the company he was founding and, and co-running. Um, it is a standard Marvel Legends fig with a few cool accessories. Let's get him open and have a cheeky little look at us. Face front, true believers, here he is, the one, the only, Stanley Lieber, former mm. writer, editor-in-chief, um... <laughs> a gatekeeper, um, showman, representative, figurehead, etc., etc., of the Marvel Comics Company. Uh, a man who, alongside the efforts and hard work of his contemporaries and peers, the likes of Steve Ditko, Jack Kirby et al., created the Marvel Universe. Like, without him, we don't get all that weird and wonderful shape back there, both comics and cinema stuff. He and his contemporaries are the reason for that. Uh, to sort of acknowledge his contributions, um, he was scattered throughout the MCU movies, hence why this figure exists. It's a figure depicting one of his cameos, his cameo in The Avengers as the chess-playing grumpy man on the report at the end, although naturally they've given him his classic sort of winning smile. Uh, Stan comes with two accessories. We'll look at the first one now real briefly. This is a chessboard. A full Louis chessboard with clips. It doesn't open. It's a static piece. It's there for you to put under his arm if you accurately want to put him with your Avengers Assemble or the Avengers 2012 figures. It's a really boring accessory. It should have been something else. I'm going to put it over here. Stan himself. We'll get to the other accessory in a minute. Stands a cracking figure. Uh, really basic body. This will have been used multiple times by other figures, I'm sure. Uh, but he's got khaki grey pants, a uh, distinct belt, button-up beige shirt. He's wearing a slightly sort of very dark, but it's a teal jacket. Um, he has shiny black boots on. Um, in fact, the most recent figure I've seen use this exact same structure, uh, articulation and everything is the J. Jonah Jameson, which is appropriate because he always said he wanted to play J. Jonah Jameson in a film. Uh, so, he comes with the little swivelly swivel on the ankles, and they bend forward and backwards. Uh, he has got double joint on the knee, as one would expect, one at the top of the thigh, that to correspond with the shape of the pants means his legs have to be bowed a tiny bit, but, you know, sure, we'll break the rules. Uh, you can kick out there at the hip. He's got a very loose waist, that's fine, because it means you can give him a more natural kind of walking sort of stance. Uh, he has a, not an ab crunch, but sort of like a rib crunch. He swivels at the top. 
double joints in the elbow. And he has one sculpted hand that's sort of, uh, you know, standard gripping hands. So if you wanted to give him, <laughs> heaven forbid, a weapon of some kind, he has a trigger finger or, you know, you can hand him something else that he could be holding. It's a very natural express expressive hand. Uh, and also one that sort of looks like he's standing out for a handshake or reaching for a chess piece, maybe, had they actually included chess pieces. Um, the star of the show, of course, is the sculpt of the head. The head is on a swivel and ball joint. And they have chosen, despite how grumpy the character is, they've chosen to depict him smiling. Because it's smiling Stan. Uh, he, his glasses are a separate piece. So if you... Let's, you know what, let's... Let's set him up here so we can get a better look at him. Uh, his glasses are a separate piece, so if you chose to remove them, you could. And his eyes are there underneath. I wouldn't, though, because it's Stan. He was always smiling, he was always wearing his shades, so why you would want to separate him from his shades, I will never know. The bonus accessory that came with this figure that sort of makes him... Um, you know, aside from having a Stan Lee figure, which is just cute as hell, to have, like, the king of the MCU cameos in your MCU figure collection. But the accessory that is cute as hell to come with him is a Captain America shield. But not just any Captain America shield. See, this one, when held, as they normally are, with the smaller strap around the wrist and the bigger strap around the upper arm, displays Stan's signature on the shield. That's cute. So it's sort of making him this this extra special figure that's not just a, oh, it's chess player from Avengers. It's also, and it's Stan Lee, so let's give him an accessory that's uniquely his. Meaning that if you stand him right, Stan is holding a Captain America shield with his name on it, which I think is pretty damn cool. Um, I'm not sure if they're in a rush to give us a Simon and Kirby double figure set with Captain America shields, but hey, maybe they can do a uh, Joe Simon and Jack Kirby set where they're holding web shooters just to counteract it, and then a Steve Ditko figure holding, like, I don't know, Thor's hammer. I don't know. Point is, this is a really cute addition to the MCU figures. I'm so glad that due to a cock up, I've ended up with one that I can have out of box. I can't wait for him to get up to Mischief and have many adventures with all of his Avengers pals. Um, also, chess set. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stanley Marvel Legends uh, MCU figure. He's beautiful. What do you think of him? Do you like him? Do you want him in your collection? Uh, there's a link in the description for a wonderful place called Kapow Toys. Not sponsored, but they get him in from time to time. He pops up on Amazon from time to time. Maybe if you are vaccinated and happy enough to do so, go to your local brick and mortar comic store. See if he's in stock there. Uh, if you want to buy me a toy for me to review, there's an Amazon wishlist link in the description. You don't have to do that, obviously. I'll review stuff whenever I get it in. But if you do, you'll get a shout-out and my eternal gratitude. Without further ado, there's nothing more to say than... Excelsior! And also like and subscribe, true believers. That's what he said. That's definitely his catchphrase. That's what Stan said, darn it.